everyone. So we're here with a family gathering. So we'll be talking about the celebrities moving to Brooklyn. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Let's see what everybody thinks. Stand by. So we're here with Jennifer, one of our relatives, and she's going to tell us what she thinks about this whole thing about not being able to really afford to live in Brooklyn anymore. Good afternoon, Jen. How you doing? Hi, everyone. Good. Um, I'm a Brooklyn native. I grew up in Brooklyn my whole life, born and raised. Um, and unfortunately, nowadays, it's very different in New York and in the city. It became very expensive. Um, I have a family of my own, and it's very difficult to raise a family uh, financially. Everything has changed, and it's super expensive. Um, and a lot of people are being forced to move out. And um, it's hard to leave your childhood home and the place that you love so much. So in a sense, it's a little disappointing. It is disappointing. I mean, in a way, it's nice that celebrities, it's nice to say, hey, this celebrity lives in your neighborhood. But like at the same time, these people, like in the case of one of these celebrities, bought, bought a house in Windsor Terrace for $2.4 million. You think about the deposit you got to put down, $500,000 deposit. I think you did about a $500,000 renovation on the inside. I mean, who could really afford that? It's impossible. And I come from a family of immigrants who were very hard their entire lives. Um, made a good living, made a good life for my brother and I, and um, it's sad for us as the, the younger generation trying to make a living for our family in New York. So what do people your age do? I mean, you can't live in Brooklyn, so what do you end up, what do you end up doing? We leave. And where do you, where do you go, pretty we, much? We go out of state um, and are forced to leave the home that we love, to have a home and a yard for our kids and... Um, you know, establish a foundation for them. Exactly. Well, thanks, Jen. I appreciate it. We're going to talk to one of the other relatives now. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, so we're here with Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie, what do you think about this whole thing? Uh, I think everything's ridiculous, man. I've been living, I was living in New York, in Brooklyn from 1972, play stickball, football, basketball, hockey. Let me tell you, you can't play ball anymore on the streets because all these people are buying this $3 million, $16 million house. I'm broken English. Habish? Kabish. And I, I left, I left Brooklyn six years ago to go to Tampa, Spring Hill. I love it. I love it here. I miss my sister. I got my wife. I miss my boys in Jersey. But you know what? Brooklyn is not the same. People cannot afford it anymore. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, you got all these like people moving in, and like, I mean, who, what kind of job do you got to have to afford oh, that? Man, you have to have good money. You can, you know. Everything you pay is taxes in these days. Yeah. You pay tax for this, you pay tax for that, you pay tolls. You know, here down in Florida, you pay $1.30 a toll. Exactly. Only one toll. In New York, in Brooklyn, you pay $19, and then, then you go to Newark, and you go to Long Island, it takes you three hours. The street is broken. They don't fix nothing. It's a ripoff. Did you hear that the Verrazano Bridge is the most expensive toll in America? Oh, yeah. At 19 uh, bucks? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's crazy. It's it crazy. is crazy. Well, yeah. you guys heard it right from Louie. Come down to Florida. Hey. Louie, show you the right way to go. Thanks, buddy. All right, thanks, Thank Uncle you. Louie. Have Appreciate you. Thank you. So we're here with Cousin Jeff. Jeff's got some opinions on this. Jeff is actually rooting for the White Sox because his Yankees didn't make it. So what's going on, Jeff? Hey, you know what? I'm not uh, Cousin Jeff, but I'm not from New York. I'm from Chicago. And listen to this. I hope all those uh, celebrities stay up in New York and don't come down to Florida. The last thing I want is them down here. Really? How come? Well, we don't need them. We got, I, I don't need $2 million houses in my neighborhood. I bought my house for 87000 That's a bargain. I don't need that. You can't buy a bathroom in, in Brooklyn no, for that no. anymore. No, I don't even think the apartments come with bathrooms up there. Jeez. <laughs> maybe they're on those vegan diets. Who the maybe, heck knows? Maybe, yeah. Maybe they just, uh, all they got to do is pee or something. They don't have to put, <laughs> they don't need a bathroom. The kitchen sink is good enough for them, not enough for me. I need my house cheap, just how I like it, no taxes. Keep them celebrities up north. But I'm sure they're going to Chicago, too, because yeah, that's being gentrified, ahead. too, right? Yeah, let them, let, them, let, them, let them go to Chicago. That's fine. My whole family moved down to Florida. We're, we're, all, we're all Florida men and women down here, so I don't need anyone else uh, come. These celebrities come. Let them stay up there. Let them have their $2 million houses, and, and I'm fine right down here where I am. That's awesome, Jeff. We appreciate you. Thank see you. It? Come down to Tampa and see Jeff, too. Yeah. He'll set things straight for you. Make sure it's a two-way flight. All right, two-way flight. <laughs> <laughs> that we can do. All right, Cousin Jeff weighing in on that. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. 
I, I, so I just want to thank all the family for speaking on the video, for supporting the channel, for supporting the foundation. It means the world to me, and I really appreciate it. And uh, at the end of the video, just stick around. I'm going to show you a really cute clip. It actually comes from 2015's Age of Ultron movie, where Captain America talks about not being able to afford to uh, live in Brooklyn. Of course, Captain America, if you know his history, was born in Brooklyn, and um, he actually came from downtown Brooklyn. But anyway, I think the whole thing with celebrities is that it isn't that Brooklyn people don't like celebrities. Being a celebrity is a great, wonderful thing. We embrace everybody, whether you, you know, cultures, creeds, lifestyles, genders, it doesn't really matter. But I think the issue comes in whereby, um, now in case for me, we had to store up there for 25 years, met a lot of celebrities, met Jack Nicholson, met some of the band members from uh, Blondie. Uh, I was able to meet John Turturro when he was doing his movie Mac. So a lot of celebrities I've met along the way, but the thing of it is where I think the difficulty comes in for some people who are from Brooklyn with the celebrities, especially Park Slope, Windsor Terrace, Bay Ridge, is that New York, Brooklyn, was a very tough place to live through for a very long time. I mean, I'm 55 years old. I've lived through the sanitation strike of the 70s. Um, you had the water shortage in 1975, MTA strikes. Remember that famous saying, I think it was um, uh, President Ford who told New York City to drop dead. So there's been a lot of things, you know, David Berkowitz in 1977, the blackout of 1977. So I think it kind of equates to a situation like when you send your child to school and you struggle and you, you, know, you go out the, the big vacation or you go out to fancy a car or whatever and you do all these struggles for all these years and then when you get to, you, you get to be able to go to graduation, it's nice because you appreciate the struggles all the way around. And I think it isn't that New York, Brooklyn doesn't like celebrities. We embrace everybody, whatever gender you are, whatever race you are, whatever creed you are, doesn't really matter. But I think the basic thing is that after all the struggle and all the turmoil and all the situations that people who grew up in Brooklyn can't afford to live there anymore. When you get to a point where you know, you're a teacher or you're a fireman or you're a, a police officer or whoever you happen to be, I mean, in the case of what I was telling you, the celebrity who bought that uh, house in Windsor Terrace, I mean, $2.4 million, you gotta realize, these houses are old houses. They're not houses that are built yesterday. These were built mostly between 1913, and Brooklyn was, there was more houses built in Brooklyn between like 1910 and 1918 than anywhere in the United States. But most of the houses born in, uh, built in Brooklyn were built between like 1910 and about 1960. So in the case of that celebrity who bought that home, Basically, 2.4 million. You need 500,000 dollar deposit, and the celebrity apparently put in about 500,000 dollars into this house because that's what you got to do. And let me tell you, some of these contractors, it's cheaper to get a plastic surgeon because they're like doctors over there. The prices are at the moon. So, I think that's what it comes down to: is that people get annoyed that they can't afford to live there anymore. They went through all the hard times. They did the right thing, and now they have to move out. Like uh, my nephew's wife, Jennifer, said. So I think that's where the difficulty comes in. So that's my opinion. Uh, like the old guy said in WPIX, uh, what's your opinion? We'd, I'd like to know. So thanks for tuning in. Here's the clip from Captain America. I'd appreciate if you guys could subscribe. And uh, thanks again to all the family members who participated in the video. Really appreciate you. So no further ado, Steve Rogers, Captain America, on the difficulties in finding a place to live in Brooklyn. Thanks, folks. Very happy chasing cold leads on our missing persons case. Avenging is your world. Your world is crazy. Be it ever so humble. You find a place in Brooklyn yet? I don't think I can afford a place in Brooklyn. Well, home is home, you know. <laughs>